Right, okay. Hello, YouTube. This is the DBT Gamer Show. Episode 66, Part 2. Today I'm reviewing Robot Wars, a Reno Destruction for the PS2. Now, if you haven't watched Part 1 yet, you've missed quite a bit. I've already covered the graphics, the multiplayer, the controls, the music, the gameplay, and some other good stuff about this game in Part 1. So if you haven't watched Part 1 yet, you've missed quite a bit. So please watch Part 1 before you watch this part. Now, Let's pick up where I left off. I left off after just ex after explaining which which robots from the TV show Robot Wars are actually in this game. Now let's go to some other bits of this game. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Avengers Battle. Now, one of the things that I really do like about from this game that they put into this game is the commentator. In the TV show Robot Wars, the commentator described really well what was going on on the telly. And the commentator in the game is no exception. He does a really good job of telling what the action and what's going on, what, what sort of stuff's going on. Let's have a listen to him, shall we? And the commentator's voice is exactly the same guy who actually was in the TV show. It's, it's good when they put the proper people in. The Sabres are the real wolves will be a great danger if the robots are powered on at all. They can give them a little shock even if they are absurd. That commentator's voice is practically perfect. Two. And he does a rather good job as commentator. Let's see how good he is. Eventually, the commentator may run out of things to say and he may repeat himself. But other than that, he's pretty good. He just finished his battle off and I'll just have to close up. Whoa! So that's what the commentator's like. Okay, now I'm going to show you some other stuff that's on the other stuff that's in the game. If you go to the um, training mode again, look for someone. If you go to the training mode again, there's one more mode besides the flower mode that you can choose called the ultimate challenge. Basically, the ultimate challenge is you pick one of your robots and you actually have to fight the house robots. And the house robots can be a really big challenge. They can be quite difficult to beat. I've only actually beaten one of them. Okay, and that's all the good stuff I can actually think of about this game. Anyway, let's go to the bad stuff. Right. Now the bad stuff about Robot Wars on the PS2, well there's not that much of it. So let me let's get into it. Well the first thing that I noticed was that the robot builder is slightly flawed in several ways. And the robot builder for me is one of my most favourite part about these games. And it's one of the main reasons why I actually buy them. Right, now the problem with the robot builder that I have found are these. First things first, the robot builder doesn't seem to position the weapons right on the robot that you make. A very good example of this is when you want to use the weapons like axes and claws. Now, on the Game Boy Advance version, 
when you used to use an axe, the axe used to be put at a diagonal sort of angle so that it would come from out of the robot and smash the other robot on the, in, on the head. Now, on Robot Wars on the PS2, all the axes, and I really do mean all of them, are set straight up at the front of the robot or at the back. Straight up. Now, they hit the opposition fine, but the big problem with having the axes straight up is that you can't really use the axe as a shriek anymore. And this becomes a really big problem when you've we got a robot that has its main weapon being the axe. So I didn't like what the game designers did when they um, changed the robot builder's positioning system. Um, and your problem that I have with this game was that some of the weapons don't work that well either. A, a big problem with this game is the flippers. The flippers don't seem to work that well at all. I mean, the very, the biggest flipper problem I'm having with this game is the, um, it's a big flipper on the, on my, um, Cassius 3. This flipper works fine when it comes to turning robots over, but when you get turned over yourself and you're trying to self-right, this flipper just None of the flippers work at all. None of them. Uh, it's only by look if you can get these flippers to actually self right you. I'm dead serious. I'm not. I've been playing Rub Wars for quite a long time now on the on the Game Boy Advance and on the PS2, and I'm pretty good. And I know how these things work. And it's it really annoyed me that, that the flipper weapons didn't work too well at all. The other weapon about this game is a newer weapon. The weapon called the Shremek is meant to self right your robot every time perfectly. Well, guess what? This one doesn't work either. So, the, the flipping weapons, including the Shremek, are horrible because they just don't work. All the other weapons, apart from the axe and the claws, Seem to function fine. And that's all the... Oh, there is one more bad thing I can think of. In the game, there's, there's a shell casing called the box shell. And the box shell is meant to be... is meant to be invertible. That means it can run b both ways up. But it, so for some strange reason, the designers decided that in the PS2 version of this game that the box shell is not p invertible anymore. Whose idea was this? This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Anyway, it's all, that's all the bad stuff I can think of for this game. Anyway, let's rate Robot Wars for me as a description of the PS2. I give this a very poor score of 3 out of 5. Is it worth buying if you're a fan of the Robot Wars series? I would say yes and no. It's a good game, but it has serious flaws that ruin the gameplay. So I think it's a 3 out of 5. My next review will be Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. But I'll say it for next time, YouTube. Until then, bye-bye.